Hello everybody, my name is Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're so welcome and make sure you hit the subscribe button because uh, I, I love this family. The Wood Jesus family, they're just fantastic. And I just came across a video, um, you know, the extreme period prank on Cabby Wood Jesus. So happy menstrual hygiene day. So this is a TBT, it was like two months ago, but I feel it's a very important topic that we should talk about and just you know just just giving some awareness you know because there's so many young women out there up until today who do not have access uh, to the necessary uh, equipment you know when they're having their menstrual so let's see what it's all about I think it's going to be educating let's see oh, oh, oh. My goodness, and you know if somebody are someone is sensitive to blood or you don't stand um, the you know just seeing blood, this is a very sensitive video. So make sure if you don't like seeing red stuff, just watch my other videos, okay? <laughs> so guy yeah, guys, so that is Kikuyu to say God, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so today is Menstrual Hygiene Day. The aim of this video is to create awareness. Um, this is fantastic. I love it. And I this is the first part that I saw and I was like, this is an interesting video because it's not just any other prank. It's going to be educative and I love it. Fantastic. Hi, guys. Hi, girl. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Hi guys. Yeah, you know that is a YouTuber technique. I do it myself all the time. I was like one, two, three. Hello everybody. My name is Connie Kennedy because it's just like the it's it's easier that way. I think we all do that. So I know you do it. So it's okay. I do it too. Praise Jesus. Hoping you're doing well. Uh -huh. It's the word Jesus for the day. Yeah. And look <laughs> again in a very interesting video. Kama kawa ida. So guys, the reason why I'm starting this video in case by is because today is the day. Uh -huh. Today is the day that we are going to be pranking Tim Kabi. Right. Tim Kabi. <laughs> so guys, first of all, thank you so much for clicking to watch today's video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing. We love you guys. God bless you. Thank you right. for your support. It's really, really encouraging. Mm. Thank you for the love that you showed. She shows my house makeover video. Right. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, I agree with you 100%. So please guys, go ahead. If you're watching any YouTuber, please subscribe because it's just a way of showing us that you like the content that you're happy with what you're seeing and it just encourages us to bring you more and more content um you know just uh yeah so you know we we film we edit we have to look for content this and that and that and so yeah so please subscribe so guys today's video is going to be an interesting video because okay. it's world menstrual day right. we get to celebrate uh menstrual day mm -hmm. so when it comes to all things uh Menses, you know, it's something that people don't really, really talk about. Mm -hmm. I've read somewhere that even 60% of the girls, they don't know, they've never had anything about right. their menstruations before they start mm -hmm. uh, their mm -hmm. periods. So it's something that, you know, many, many people, many organizations are pushing so that we can, so that the girl child can be more educated on their menstrual hygiene right. management and all that. And also, you know, many girls are not able to go to school mm. for four days because they are not able to access right. pads. Right. So, and that is a big scandal because make it make sense. I know uh, in Kenya, for example, uh, condoms are free. Listen carefully. Condoms are free for men, but the hygiene uh, pads are not for girls make it make sense who falls pregnant it's the girl so i feel that i i know because even when i was in high school so many girls did not have access to pads or their parents or their aunts or wh whatever the case may be will tell them you have to wait but menstruals do not wait and i feel uh it's such a pity and i i love it um 
I love this initiative because it's very educative and I feel that um I mean pads should be free for girls should be free for women they should be free you know um so I love this initiative it's fantastic I just want to do this video first of all as a prank and secondly just to you know create awareness so I Great got job. this idea of pranking a bee from a video we saw I think two days ago on okay. Instagram okay. and then Kabi was so mesmerized and we like love umona video <laughs> <laughs> and so many men so many people were like oh my god you didn't have to share that but honestly I feel like this is something as women we go through mm. every month right. and some women are not very privileged yes. to be able to manage mm -hmm. to, you know, to manage their periods they're not privileged to access pads so right. some of them even get bullied you know when yes. they go to school mm -hmm. because you know they're in a pit and all that right. so i don't know it's gross but guys you know i don't know women um who talk to you about your periods before you get them mm -hmm. so for me mm -hmm. um my mom never told me about them i just learned uh, about them in school. Yes. So when I started my first time, I was so scared. Right. Guys. First of all, I I was like amongst the last last people in my class to start their periods, and weirdly every girl had a scary story about right. it, and so I was like, guy, mm. it's happening to me. Yeah. And I remember, and I went and told my dad because my mom was not around that okay. time. And my dad, I can even make a call our house. I'm going to be able to get a good idea. Oh my goodness, yes. So I will just talk about the first point, you know, where you said, uh, I think it's important to educate men as well. And just tell them that, yeah, we, we go through that every single month for four days. And uh, it's not disgusting. You know, it's just part of how women are built. And it shouldn't be like, this disgusting thing and i thought when we educate our men if your dad was educated about it then he would have advised you better you know directed you to go to the pharmacy and buy yourself some pile of the supermarket you know and i know personally i got that education at school i remember there were some uh charity organizations that would come to school give us free pads uh, we were separating groups, boys, it was uh, the condoms, and the girls, it was the pads. So there was just like this sexual, uh, sex education, I would say, uh, at school and also. So I feel I was prepared. When it happened, I was prepared because I had kept the pads that that uh, that were given to us in, in primary school. And so I was kind of prepared. So when it happened, I remember the next time, I just would ask for money and I always had like my pads in order. But I know one of my baby cousins, when it happened to her, she was screaming. I was babysitting her with one of my other cousins. And we were like, what's going on? And she was like, yeah, I'm bleeding and bleeding. She didn't know what, she thought she was dying. And so fortunately I was older enough and I knew, I knew what was going on. I just went and buy and bought her some pads and stuff. So I feel it's very important to educate our children. And that's a reason why recently, I guess it was like three weeks ago, I talked to my daughter who is now eight years old and I had to inform her that if it ever happens, it's okay. And I thought, yes, educating the girl child is very important. And especially in such issues, which can be embarrassing when it happens to you at school and you have blood all over your clothes. So it's good to talk about it. <laughs> so what he did, he gave my our nanny money to go and get me pads, okay. but you know that's all. Like me, little pads, I'm not sure how to put them on. That's hey, all. you know the African dad, you know. So mm, I understand. So I just want to say, I just um, I want to create this video to entertain you guys because as a prank, I'd love to see how Kabi would react, right. and two to just create awareness about wild menstrual day to just make you know even some men mm. be aware of what you go through every month. You know, you know, they don't know how bad it can get, exactly. especially when you know, you it. Can you imagine me to manage how you manage? You know, you have pads, and you have to use a treat at home. We need to get a newspaper. So it's something that I'm very, very uh, aware of, and I'd love also you guys to be aware of, and you know, we can do something. You know. Right. So, um, 
I want to act like I'm cramping like crazy. Yeah. Talk with cramp like crazy. Mm. No, personally, I don't have very bad cramps. So I want to act like I'm, you know, young, you cramped and buyer. Yeah. And then... Oh, and by the way, guys, I'm very sensitive to this type of topic. So if you haven't watched a video I did with um, Mokazi's family, the endometriosis, make sure you go watch that one as well. Because if it happens to your child, um, to your wife, uh, to yourself, you as a woman, you will know what's going on. So go watch it. Mm. Sudden. So right now, Kabi is sleeping. So I'm going to say that I'm going to say that So I'm going to say that I'm going to say my hand, my hand. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I want to go back in bed. I have a white, a white trouser over okay. here. It's a palazzo pant, but I'm so sure that I notice in palazzo. So I want to go back. I smear up something that looks like blood on the yeah. bed, on the bed okay. And then mom she will be like, love the crap, love the crap. And all that. So okay. let me show you what I'm planning to use. And I'm still putting on my Christmas pictures. Wow, you have a nice house. Very nice house. Because, go. <laughs> Sasa, um, this is what I have to work with. Okay. This is enough color. So I've realized if I mix this strawberry syrup and this chocolate syrup, itakuwa, itakaka damu. Right. Yeah. It will look like blood, yeah. Then mix it up, mix, mix, mix. enjoy it in this case when you're thinking that you're it's blood you know And by the way, on Amazon, I when I see these primes, they buy fake blood, and it looks really, really like blood. So let's go and do the application. So I'm gonna come in a half on a tripod because I want to go and set up. Okay. It's so I hope by the time I'm doing the computer, so let's go up. Wow. see him he's just somewhere you know in the debate mm. how do people do this thing how do people because if somebody like um if i'm sleeping and you start walking around i will just wake up it just wakes me up so i i think only deep sleepers can only this prank can only work on deep sleepers because I, it wouldn't work on me because I would wake up right there and then. And then after 
the days the, the, the bed sheets are done. You can just throw them away. Okay, it's for a good place. sleep with pillows because I'm the same let me know in the comment section below if you're like that but I never sleep uh, I, I have pillows when I make my bed in the morning but when I go to sleep I just remove them because I prefer lay, um, sleeping flat if I sleep on something then I will wake up with you know neck pain and stuff like that so I think you're the same tissues just to help her wipe everything you know he just wants to cover it. the sight of blood is really disturbing you know to him right now that's very funny <laughs> Oh my goodness. Actually, if you don't understand Swahili, uh, he wants his. <laughs> Look at where I pose. Look at his face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow. So I was saying, if you don't understand Swahili, he wants her to go um, to go freshen up. And, you know, just go and take a shower and then see if the blood keeps, you know, <laughs> flowing. But, wow, his face. Uh, 
Mama masala. Hmm? Mama masala. I can't pull the corridor. Oh. oh my god. What do you do? I can't call the doctor too. No, I don't think you need to call the doctor now. But this is too much. You want to go to the J-Rom and you can't call the doctor. Because J-Rom is a man. This much. That's too much blood, imagine. Oh. Can you call it? Is it in a semester? Okay, because I was like, are you, are you feeling bad? Oh, ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he wants to know the smell. Is it different from before? He's just trying to analyze the situation and, you know, look at the urgency, I would say. So, okay, Kabi. So far, so good. I think he's a good appreciated that you're using your platform um, to educate people and I find that to be fantastic. suspicious so whew, we were that close to being exposed you know to educate him you know so he can understand how it feels when you know when somebody has an accident when you have your menses um how it feels the pain um you know that many women don't have access to you know to the necessary hygiene towels and stuff like that so maybe this is a perfect opportunity to educate your husband that's too yucky you prove your prank guy you honest I love, honestly, I love you, but you're so easy to get it. It's a good thing. 
<laughs> no, the bed sheets, you can just say goodbye to the bed. I would be curious if you manage to. Maybe if you take them uh, to a piercing or with a javel, maybe. But um, yeah, for the mattress, I'm not so sure. <laughs> harassment and the people make fun of them and not only for a night every single day they mess up because they don't have the necessary uh, hygiene towels er everything necessary for them not to be in that an embarrassing situation like that and it happens every single day when that we are to the home mm -hmm. the was hold. Mm -hmm. so you have to so I that is how their beds mm -hmm. look like. Right. What? Every yeah. four and days, the, every month. The bed yeah. has never looked like that. Because Mimi, I can access yeah. pads. I can yeah, access. you can afford them because they're not they're not um affordable. You know, they're quite expensive and so not anybody I would rather eat than buy sanitary towels. I would rather feed my children than buy sanitary towels. So that's why proper sanitary management be rolling before like before the previous day so that you don't do that to i just place. feel it mm. this, yeah okay it's a whole yeah you start feeling cramps you start feeling um you can just tell the your body there something is wrong you don't have a stomach ache really but then you feel some uncomfortableness. Some people eat, some don't eat. It depends on each person and, and some people have terrible cramps terrible uh stomach cramps and um yeah you you just know it as a woman you just know it you start ovulating you know when you're ovulating mm -hmm. and they're just science when you're right. about to roll and to be honest it doesn't come at mingi at once yeah. it doesn't right. happen that way it just comes to the logo and that's how people who are able to Access pads are able to yeah. Yeah. put on their pads and they don't have to feel this kind of embarrassment. Exactly. And um and I that's why we also say do not get into a woman's bag because you will find personally I move around with the sanitary pads. If you use a, a tampon, then you have... So that's why... One of the reasons why you say never get into a woman's bag because it's quite... Uh, we get we have to carry them around, especially when it's almost that time of the month. You have to make sure that you have some in your bag because you never know. Because day two and day three are phew, terrible. And that's why we also say women have the mood swings. Uh, it's hormonal. That's It's just like that. So when your woman is in a bad mood... Um, that's probably one of the reasons why. But guess what? There are so many women who go through it. So maybe mm -hmm. video. I know Urasema in a car disgusting, mm -hmm. and that's the position of so many men out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Like they're like you don't need to show us it on a jewel. Like yeah. Eh. Yeah, but imagine love, mutumwe, how is it a pad na otherwise? Mm -hmm. So lazima 
some people wataliona lazima akienda shule itapita na akuwe bullied unaget mm-hmm. unaget na sasa some, some of these ladies don't even have access to high need to maji and so for them to yeah. be able to take care of themselves yeah. so yeah. and you know i remember my grandmother she told me that back in the days they used to dig a hole you know that was before the pads they used to dig, when a woman was having her menstrual uh, it was her menstrual time they used to dig a hole and they would sit um, in that particular place for for the whole day you know doing tasks the people would bring them you know maybe to peel this to do this but they would just sit down until the period is over so you can imagine that today in the 21st century we still have women who have no access to sanitary towels but men have access to free condoms make it make sense and i feel that's where i hope some day somebody will be in that position to go and distribute um the sanitary towels to women um in the streets uh in the slums because it's not easy out there for them can you imagine mm-hmm. so men should uh, first of all stop thinking it's disgusting because it's part of being a woman yeah <laughs> you mean the name is Nimeko Kwani for all men? I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever oh. seen such a site? No, okay, okay. Honestly, let me just say, I talk in a kadamu mahali too. No, no, no. 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 Other men need to just appreciate the fact that this yeah. is something women go through every month. It's not right. something embarrassing. Mm. It is not. Mm. Like it. Because it's part of who we are. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love this prank, uh, aka educational video, because I feel it's a perfect opportunity. I think he will be, he will react differently next time. And more so to uh, your supporters who are watching this and male supporters, just to know it's okay. Don't don't throw stones at her or don't try and embarrass her even more because it's already, you know, a tough time. Those four days a month, every single month, you know, for the longest time. So just, um, yeah, I feel I, I love it because it's it's a good uh, it's a good lesson. Wana jua tsa mpoi ni lianga leo ndo mimi wako inapanda hati kwa haka. Kwa ni shanga kwa ni kayo. It can happen. I thought it's like. It can happen when you have like a a large flow. It can happen. Maybe you may put a ball and you know you know like the first time you know so much blood. Na bolza why it's like that. But you know it's a cool. Like we are married. Anything can happen. Oh yeah. Yeah so I was so scared but. Wow. change your pad and there's some who didn't have t- didn't have money to actually change their pad or to have a second one so it's a whole lot of stress for so many so many young women um, and i think it should change <clears throat> yeah so you know we need to be educated in right. in terms of it's it happens and right. also of how to treat women or girls especially 
girls when you wanna go through it. Right. You know, you to make them ah. feel vibaya. What? By the way, mtani mm. yani the madam wengi wako na afford parts. Mm. So ndio maana walikuwa wanaacha kukaa shule after mm. day wamejifunga sweater like mm. two dio day yenye period zimekaa hata mm. kama shule for the next three days. So mko anafikiria anasikia aibu ama ameenda kwa mtu mimi hata hako na parts. Right. Exactly. Wow. Mm. Hey, by the way, okay. I think right. we can upload the video. We can upload to, the video. To just and then you don't store oh. kabi. It's mm. just in a position of so many mimi mwenyewe akiona kadamu tu ka stay hivi kwa choo. Hey. Much love. Wow. <laughs> so. <laughs> so guys, uh, thank you for watching today's video. Sorry if you've been triggered like Kabi, Bolini sana. Sometimes are just part, some things are just part of life. Right. And there's no woman who be rolling at your kama waonyeshe sasa na roll because ata feel mm-hmm. bad. That's why mimi nimeamua kufanya hivyo. Honoin is just chocolate syrup. Mimi shakaboni ndio napata inuki damu. Ni tamu ngi namba ni tamu. So to all women out there happy uh, International Menstrual Hygiene Day. So Menstrual Hygiene Day is an annual awareness day on May 28th to highlight the importance of good okay. menstrual hygiene. Mm-hmm. at a global level. Okay. You get it? Like I wish shule watu wengi wana programs for free like monthly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So it refers so yeah. menstrual hygiene management refers to access to menstrual hygiene products to absorb or collect flow of blood during menstruation. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. So ni yeah. parts basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Na maji. Na maji. Na sabuni. Mm-hmm. Kwa mm-hmm. sababu kwa clean mm-hmm. in that period. Right. And if you're a woman who is able to uh, afford pads and you can be able to spare more for someone else, mm-hmm. please do so so right. that you don't have to go through this kind of right. embarrassment. Eh, especially in public and even in our own groups. Right. Whoa! <laughs> So let's just call a spade a spade. It's blood. But I remember my my daughter was so scared of blood. She's eight years old now. And um, but I just told her, listen, blood is flowing. If I cut you right here, your body is full of blood, you know. Um, and so she looked at it differently. She's like, oh yeah, you're right. And since that day. She stops being scared of blood. And she's just, even her friends, she's always like, oh yeah, but do you know you have blood in your body? So I feel it's just a question of um, stopping to demonina, dem, demonize. I don't know how you say. I don't know how, what, however you call it, but let's just stop having this um, um, negative image of blood and just, um, yeah, blood is blood. We have it in our bodies and it's flowing in our veins. It's not just blood. Menstruals. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe. Remember to give us a thumbs up. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Happy International Menstrual Hygiene Day. Right. <laughs> From right. me and all the men. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in my life. fantastic couple lovely couple perfect example um you know of uh, beautiful people you know that love god as well so that's really fantastic and i'm so happy that this went from being a prank to educational and it's perfect may 28th uh, and let's not just wait for may 28th we can do it all the time uh to help and supply uh you know hygiene uh towels to girls women who have no access to them. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my reaction video, please make sure you subscribe. And until next time, bye.